keeping an eye on the interior. News 13 Sports starts right now. Good evening, everyone. Jamie Schwartzwald in with your News 13 Eye on Interior Sports. It's Thursday, so that means puck talk here on News 13. Today we are hanging with the Nooks, specifically forward Carlo Finucci. Carlo, thanks for coming down, man. No problem. Pleasure to be here. All right, thanks. Well, let's just start off by telling everyone where you're from and some of your first memories playing hockey. I'm from Burnaby, British Columbia, Canada. Um, my first memories are my, my dad taking me to skating lessons and just kind of fall in love with hockey, watching the Vancouver Canucks, my hometown team. And I just fell in love with it from there, and my dad put me into hockey, and that's uh, where I've been fr from now till then. How, did, how does it come to be? I read that you're fluent in three languages. How, how did that come to be? Uh, my father's Italian, my mother's Mexican, so uh, I think my first, uh, my first language was actually Italian until I started to get going to school, preschool and elementary school, and uh, that's when I started to pick up English. And then I've traveled several times to Mexico to visit family, that's where all my mom's side of the family is, and um, so that's where I picked up a lot of my Spanish because I had to use it. I understand Italian and Spanish are, are pretty closely related. Yeah, they are actually. I mix them up a little bit here and there, so I mean, um, they can kind of know what I'm saying, but I mean, I catch myself messing it up sometimes. <laughs> okay, so back to hockey, coming off a split with Miami. You know, considering the circumstances of that trip, you know, being shut out on Friday, you're down 2-1 in the third period. Was there ever a time that the team doubted itself, do you think? I mean, no. With uh, Friday night, we didn't think it was a 4 nothing game. Uh, we had our chances that game. Their goalie played great. So, I mean, we knew we could uh, get to keep getting pucks to the net. Eventually, we were going to get our bounces, and, I mean, it, it did. I mean, the last goal was a bounce for sure, and uh, pedals as, as well. So, I mean... We just kept working hard, getting pucks to the net, and eventually the stuff was going to come for us. Now you're breaking up that last goal, of course, scored by you late in the game. Um, kind of gave it to the Miami student section a little bit there. First off, how loud are they, and, and how good did it feel to kind of silence them a little bit? I uh, had a little taste of it my freshman year when we went there. I mean, uh, you can kind of can't really explain it until you're there. Uh, the warm-up, it starts with the warm-up. Uh, they're all there. It's packed down in the student, se student section, and... They're dancing, the music's going, and they're yelling at you through the cracks of the glass. I mean, it's awesome atmosphere to play in. And then uh, throughout the game on the bench right there, they're kind of yelling at you every time you come on and off the ice. So, I mean, it's great, and it was kind of nice to give them a little shot there at the end. I'm glad it, uh, it held up, so otherwise it might have looked a little stupid. <laughs> Yeah, well, like you said, it did held up. And uh, you've stepped up. You've scored goals in the past two series. Uh, why the success? I mean, I'm kind of the right place at the right time uh, with the last couple goals. So, um, I mean, just going to the net, that's where you're going to get a lot of goals. And uh, if you get the bounces, uh, it's not that hard of a shot to get in if you're right around the crease. So, um, Taking a look at special teams, you guys are a plus three special teams net. That's third in the CCHA. Um, how important are the specialty teams in hockey? I mean, they're huge now with uh, all the new rules. Um, Penal power plays um, can win and lose games um, if you don't capitalize, and our penalty kill has been great as well, so that helps us out a lot. I mean, guys will take penalties for, you know, good penalties, and we'll, we'll kill those all day, but, I mean, um, our power play could always uh, be improved on, and that's going to be a key going on here. Okay, so we're coming back to the Carlson Center this weekend. Do you, do you prefer the uh, big ice over the NHL size sheet? In certain aspects of the game, uh, you know, there's a lot more room out there, but I mean, once you cross that blue line in the uh, Olympic sheet ice that we have here, it's kind of a bit farther to get to the net. Um, on an NHL sheet, you're kind of right there. Quick things happen, you're at the net already. So, I mean, I prefer it in different areas of the game. Now, of course, Northern Michigan coming to town this weekend. It'll actually be the last series of 2010 at the Carlson Center. You know, how badly do you guys want to send it out for the fans with a uh, win to close out the calendar year? I mean, it's always been a pleasure playing in front of our fans. They're great. Um, we you know we pride ourselves in getting six points every weekend, so um, it'll be nice to close out the the year with uh, a sweep of Northern. So that, I mean, they got us in playoffs last year, so we're uh, definitely looking to get them back. All right, Carla. Well, I'll be looking forward to it, and uh, we'll see you Friday and Saturday night. Thank you very much. All right, thank you for coming down. And that is going to wrap it up. We are getting out of here, but you should stick around for Micah Johnson, who's coming up next with your extended seven-day weather forecast. So for Carlo Finucci, I'm Jamie Schwartzwald, and you're watching News 13.